901-902. We've got the Reds and Luke Weaver against the Pirates and ring around the Ronzi Contreras, right? Stealing from base winner right there. You see the money line here. The Pirates minus 158 favorites. The Reds can be had at plus 143. The total in this game sitting at nine, juice to the over at minus 120. Jason, let's start with you here. You got to play in this game. I was surprised. You liked this card quite a bit. I was having a hard time deciding what I liked in this card. What do you think here, Pirates Reds? Yeah, I like the Reds here. I think it's a really good spot for them. Uh, Pirates have been on fire lately. They're, you know, you can see it reflected in the money line. Rosny Contreras almost minus 160 favorite, but. The, the main reason I like this game is Pittsburgh's coming off that uh, that road trip to Colorado, and you're coming back from Colorado. They played yesterday. You know, they played three straight days, Colorado, come home. Uh, now they're all of a sudden turning around. They got this home game. <clears throat> you come down from Colorado, your body just gets extra sore from the altitude and takes a little while to recover. I think uh, you're getting a great price here with the Reds today. So back in the price, not necessarily because I like the Reds, but I think it's, it's a great price. Base winner, Jason's backing the Reds here. Is the dog going to hit or all his uh, care is going to go up in smoke? There you go. There's a Cheech and Chong reference for the show. Yeah. Oh, Jason's had a striking similarity to Chong. I mean. Mm. It's not even. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, really. And it, and some some of Chong's mannerisms, I, I, I think. But uh, if, if we look if we look at this game, just from a pricing standpoint, I've got the Pirates minus 145 in the market at minus 155. I, I, you know, it's a tough call. I mean, this is this is happening in a couple instances today, at least, where you've got this guy who's worked out of relief. They're trying to make him a starter. Uh, we're going to see that with Stram when we talk about the Phillies. And it, it, it's hard for me to get a gauge personally on it. I, I, I can give you a strikeout percentage for Weaver, last 150, 21.3 contrasted with uh, a ring around the Rolanzi, and uh, he's at uh, 17.3. So an edge there. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think that the Pittsburgh lineup, for me at least, by my ratings, I have them 16th. I've got Cincinnati ranked 25th. Uh, that's kind of how it comes out in the mixer. I, I'm going to pass on this game personally. But, uh, I mean, 420, I think, I think Jason, I think we, we can smell a uh, – uh, a three no day for him, right? Smell some dog. Smell some dog there. Look, uh, for me, I just can't back Ronzi Contreras as a favorite. I just simply cannot do it. So I tend to agree with Jason here. It's just for me, now I'm back in Luke Weaver and this Reds offense. Yeah, it gets real dicey. So it's a stay away from me. Ed Bluss says the nagging wife system born on the Bet US show. And look, my girlfriend comes back tonight. I thought it was yesterday, delayed flight. So she comes back tonight. So. God, my system might get, I'm going to have the nagging wife syndrome at home too. I've been able to be loose and free and play loud music in the mornings. Things are about to change around here for me, but I might be a little less on edge tomorrow. We shall see. But we're locking in the Reds money line plus 143 for Jason right now. <laughs> Taking it too far now. Stick to the numbers. Well, the nagging wife system is proven. We've seen it work, Mark. So uh, we're going to continue doing that to Mark Holmes. In the chat, be sure to ask all the questions that you have. We'll get, we'll do everything we can to get to as many of those as possible at the end of the show during the Q and A section after we cover all of the games. 